Today in Engineering Newswire, we're assembling the Mars-bound crew module, killing invasive starfish with robots and drinking whiskey in zero gravity. As part of an ongoing story that has reinvigorated cultural interest in space, NASA is another step closer to sending astronauts to Mars. On Saturday, engineers at NASA's Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans welded together the first two segments of the Orion crew module that will fly atop NASA's Space Launch System rocket destined for the Red Planet. Though not everyone is buying the hype, frequent tweeter and eternal skeptic at Enlighten is convinced that the Mars race is BS as quote, every country with a brain is aiming to go to the moon to mine helium-3 for fusion. We'll just, we're just gonna, I don't have a pocket, but we'll just tuck that in our pockets and get that on the next episode. Seven large aluminum pieces make up the module's primary structure. As you can see in this diagram, the first weld connects the tunnel to the forward bulkhead, which houses many critical systems, such as the parachutes, for re-entry, you know, that's, that's an important one. Orion's tunnel has a docking hatch and will allow crews to move between the module and other spacecraft. Through collaborations across design and manufacturing, teams have been able to reduce the number of welds by more than half since the first test version, which will result in a lighter spacecraft for the Martian journey. Or, less likely, but equally interesting, NASA's part in an arms race to mine the moon. You know what? Keep on commenting, Enlighten, just bringing me joy on a regular basis. Have you ever had to drink whiskey out of a plastic bag with a straw? Yeah, me neither. Personally, I prefer beer. But it's a different story for astronauts and future space tourists. Sometimes you just want to sip whiskey in zero gravity. Thankfully, Scottish distiller Ballantines commissioned an open space agency to create a zero gravity whiskey glass. For a year, the team studied how whiskey behaves in zero gravity. The team then tested prototype glasses using the Zarm drop tower in Bremen, Germany to simulate weightlessness. The final product is actually made from 3D printed plastic and is simply called space glass. It has a rose gold plated spiral convex base plate, which creates surface tension to hold the whiskey down in a reservoir at the bottom of the glass. Included in the base is a 10 kilogram pole magnet that anchors it to a metallic microgravity bar. Up the side of the dome glass is a helix with a small channel. It picks up the whiskey and capillary action pulls it up to a gold mouthpiece on the brim. The mouthpiece slightly cools each sip and helps avoid the undesirable taste of drinking out of plastic. What about refills, you ask? The base has a one-way valve for filling the glass using a bespoke nozzle that fits a standard Ballantine's whiskey bottle. Cheers! Crown of Thorns starfish is one of the biggest threats to the Great Barrier Reef. They eat coral. So to help combat the deadly starfish, researchers have developed a new robotic system called Cotspot. The Cotspot is a proof-of-concept robotic system that combines ongoing research into image-based starfish detection, robotic vision, manipulator control, and shallow water autonomous underwater vehicle design. The system also uses machine learning to achieve a detection performance of more than 99%. The vehicle itself can operate for more than six hours at a time at a maximum depth of 100 meters with the ability to hover briefly, which is necessary because after navigating the reef and detecting the invasive starfish, the Cotspot stops to inject a biological agent that kills it before moving on to its next victim. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Kaylee Duffy, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.